everyone, it's Ismay and welcome to the demo of Mail Time. I had a lot of fun playing a somewhat similar game called Lake where, you know, we were a postal service person and I, yeah, I just wanted to jump in and deliver some more mail, meet some new characters and see what this game is going to be about. Let's go. Okay, so I hadn't expected a um, character creator, but this is the little character that we came up with. So let's take Mushroom Ismay in and get going. Are we there yet? No. How about now? No. What about... Stop. You shut up if I tell you where we're going. Thomas. Alright. Now don't get too excited. But today is your first solo delivery. What? Yes. My ears. Oh, sorry. Right, so... Okay, so you've got it, right? Yep. Wait. No. One more time. Listen closely this time, then. You. You is me. Me is me. Need to deliver that letter in your backpack. To a hedgehog named Barb. Deliver the letter to Barb. Oh, also. You can leave the bee here, by the way. No thanks. He goes with me everywhere. Besides, I don't control them. They just kind of do what they want. Which seems to be following me around. Fine. As long as you deliver that letter to Barb. Alright, be with me. We are gonna... You are a frog, but... Hello. What's a fresh sprout like you doing here? Hi. I'm delivering the mail today. Ah, uh, yeah. I gathered that from the whole mail scout van and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess it's obvious. Well, my name's Jim. Good to meet you. Ismay. Nice to meet you, Ismay. Did you know that you can hop around by pressing A? Oh, I think that was part of my training. It really should be. Hopping is a life's greatest pleasure. And a very useful skill when you encounter high obstacles. Wow, we, we kind of jump. Does this bounce? Oh, it does. Nice. Okay. Wait. Oh. Oh, I am not a thousand percent sure what we just picked up, but. Okay, so. Squirrel. Bird. Turtle. If I was a hedgehog, where would I? Oh, we've got a snail. Hello. What are you doing here? Hi. I'm delivering mail to Barb. Oh, she lives just up in that big tree. Thanks. Oh, my name's Donna. What's your name? Ismay. Great meeting you, Ismay. Oh, since you have legs, do you know mushrooms are bouncy? That's cool. It is. Some bounce more than others, apparently. I haven't confirmed because, well, I don't have legs. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's no issue. I enjoy my life. I can carry so much more stuff like this. There. Way to look at the positives. The big tree. I assume using the power of... Oh, wait, that's probably Barb. Oh, bottle cap. Oh, 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 I can't see. Something about grape soda. I guess I should, um, wait for the UI to load a little bit before I go crazy. Hello. Hello. What can I do for you? Oh, well, I actually have something for you. Thanks, dear. Oh, thank you so much for bringing this to me. What is it? It's a letter from my son, Greg. I hadn't heard from him in so long. No, no problem. Actually, dear, before you go, 
Would you mind taking this with you? It's a letter from my Greg. He really needs to read it. Yeah, of course. Where is he? Oh, he lives in the Grumblewood Grove. It's quite a ways from here. How far? Well, if he can't fly, it'd probably be better to have a car or something. Janet has a van. She can drive me. Marvelous. Good luck, dear. Thanks, miss. Have a wonderful day. Right, where's our... We have to get to Greg. It's important. For the last time. I did it. Oh. Right. Congrats, kid. Thanks. You do, do you still want to do other deliveries? Part of being a good male scout is helping others. Oh, yes. That sounds like fun. Okay. You do some more deliveries if they're available. Alright. I'm done. I do have a delivery for someone named Greg now. Look at you go. Well, go right ahead. Oh, uh, well, he's in the Grumblewood Grove, apparently. I was hoping you could drive me. Oh yeah, sure, we can stop there on our way back. Did you still want to say goodbye to anyone? Nah, maybe, I don't know. Well, that's for you to decide. Come talk to me again when you're ready to leave. I kind of want to, like, meet a couple more people. Talk to, like, the squirrel and the bunny and then head out, I think. Taking your time is not wasting time, but make sure you explore while you have time. We can chat another time. Over tea. Okay, I'll talk to you later, Egbert. It was nice meeting you. See you later. Bye. I like this. Do, do, do. We're on our first day. Hello, bunny. Hello. Hi. You're a male scout, right? Have any mail for me? Ah, uh, no, sorry, I don't. That's okay. Maybe another time. Yeah, maybe. I'm sure everyone will get letters eventually, right? Oh, we don't have to, like, deliver our animal friends' bills. <laughs> uh, you, you owe for that log you're sleeping in. Okay, wait, we have two more people to meet. Hey, Shorty, what up? I'm leaving. Other deliveries to do and stuff. Oh, alright. Well, keep on being cool. You think I'm cool? Yes. But, I'll deny it to anyone you tell. Well, I think you're pretty cool too, see? Cool, cool, cool. No doubt, no doubt. What are you still doing here? Get out of here before you truly ruffle my feathers, kid. Bye, Clarence. Bye, Ismay. It was nice meeting you. How do you know I'm cool? We just met. I think so. I have a little surprise for you. Well, technically it's Clarence's surprise. But they didn't say explicitly not to tell you. Permission by omission is the best kind. Oh, oh. What is it? Let me guess. Rhinestones. No, no. Hmm. Flames. Pyrotechnics are painted. Those are cool. That's what I said. Well, not the pyrotechnics part. So it's gonna be flames? That's rad. Well, no. Maybe. I don't know exactly. Clarence and Egbert made up, and Egbert gave them a gift from Andy and him, and C is gonna use it in your costume. Oh, aw. Uh. Whole gang will be there with me while I run, by carrying the team on my back. Literally. Okay, I guess two of them were fighting, they made up, and this guy has a new, like, costume? My bad, I must have missed all that by accidentally, like, coming here first. You ready to go, kid? Yep. Alright, hop in. You did well today. The male scouts will be happy. Thanks, Janet. I made like one deliveries today. Taking initiative like that is great. Like, you did the one job that we came here for. Good job, my oh, thanks. Bare minimum, you know? You'll make a fine male scout. One day. Now let's go see if we can find this Greg in the Grumblewood Grove. Okay. Alright, well, we did finish the demo. But, um, and, like, I don't know. I feel like there's some unresolved issues. Uh, let me see if I can go back and maybe talk to them first. Alright. 
now that we're like actually getting back into the swing of things we have two of the bottle caps see a third one we can go grab actually let's drop this off to shelby first and then we can uh go over there and grab that other one do you want an autograph what oh wait i'll do you one better i picked the one and only future regional racing champion what older turtle sir you're a male scout aren't you Yes, I am. Yes, and I want. I hope the fan mail isn't breaking your bag. I actually have some fan mail. Oh? <clears throat> From Egbert. Oh? I mean, naturally. Egbert didn't exactly seem like much of a sports fanatic. You wouldn't guess, right? But he's my day one fan. Ah, oh, look at this. From him and his wife, Shelves. We wish you the best with your upcoming debut. We'll be cheering you on as always. Have fun training, but don't stress yourself. I don't need any medals to be a winner in our eyes. XOXO Annie and Eki. Aww. Sweet. I should go over for tea again sometime. Oh, do you have something? Can I ask? Who are you? I'm Shelby, world renowned, well, town renowned track star. Track star in training. Anywho, if you're running along, do you mind taking this to Clarence for me? It's in safe hands. I'm getting quite the hang of this. Oh, you've already been around town. And you really hadn't heard about me yet? No, sorry. Huh. Happy that they still see me as good old Shelby. I haven't become starstruck. I mustn't have met Kayla and yet in that case. Don't tell them I know. They're quite a fan. Up at my shell you can find C hanging out by that tree over there. I'd bring it myself, but I don't think he'd be. Hey. I mean, I can't wait a second in I can't waste a second of training with the big race coming up. Ready? Set go! Wait, bottle cap. Okay, so there's this one, and then there's gonna be the one. Oh. Oh no, I got to be stuck. Oh, that sounds terrible. Run. Fine. We're unstuck. It was a little bit scary, but we managed to get out of there. trying to catch up to us. Shorty, thanks. You seem pretty cool as well. Thanks, bud. Well, what's up? Just came to hang out with the old Clairmeister. Had a delivery from the down to earth turtle incoming. He's a tortoise. Oh, no biggie. I'm no snitch. You want to know what the letter's about? Or did you already have a peek? I didn't. No worries. You just asked me to design a look for her. She wants to make a cool impression in her first race. Will you do it? Of course. Sounds like fun. Do you think gray stripes over her shell would look sick? I... Or is checkers more the vibe? Without flames on the sides. Ah, oh, that's dope. I'll get right on it. In a sec. What are you up to? The side chillin'. Got a letter for Barb. My first official assignment as a male scout. Oh, good for you, pal. You finding your way alright? I think so. Nice. Hey, if you're going that way, do you mind doing me a little favor? What favor? Did you drop this letter off with Egbert for a chance? No biggie. Why not just walk? Or fly down there yourself? Flying is pretty exhausting, you know. You really should start designing Shell's outfit. You make a very convincing argument. I'll do it. Wait, I owe you. Egbert is the fluffy looking fellow down the road. <laughs> you can glide down there. Got it. Okay, let's see. We accidentally, like, broke the, uh, the cycle of the demo, I feel, when we like quickly finished it, because there's definitely way more content this time around. A lot more like character in the characters. A little story for the town. 
much prefer. Okay. Doesn't seem like it's gonna be up here on flowers. Mildly unfortunate, but we'll just somewhere else that we have yet, yeah, right? Hello again. I've got a delivery for you. Ah, marvelous. Oh, I can never stay mad at the goober. He wrote me a little apology poem. You're just such a creative young spirit. Mushrooms are red, but some are orange. Oh, never mind. Seems he crossed out that one. Mushrooms are red, the sun shines even when it's cloudy. That I could, that I could doesn't mean I should. At times I rock a bit too rowdy. That's really sweet. It is. Would you mind delivering this to them? If it's not too much trouble. Oh no, that's fine. Happy to help. Great. Well, you should know our clearances. I do, I do. But I also need to find a single bottle cap. Unless maybe they give it to me. If, um, I do that for them. Okay. Now we're gonna see. Like, I'm still not seeing it. doesn't give me the last one, I'll just run around. I return victorious. You didn't you, well, nibble you out? The contrary, the poem worked wonders. Oh, he read it to you? It was sick, right? A true wordsmith. He sent this in return. What could it be? A letter? With a gift? Regards from Annie. Eh, could have guessed. Something about that wife of his makes him a big softy. Oh, he just had a powerful thought. I could use this for Shelby's outfit. I'll get right on it. I finished thinking up the design. Okay, well, I'm glad that we did that, and we already know it's gonna be flames of some sort that Shelby's gonna be really excited about, because, you know, we did, we did it a little bit backwards. Oh, wait, and there's the lemon. Lemonade bottle cap. Like how I said, oh, it's a lemon, like I and Like how I said, oh, look, lemon, like I knew it was gonna be lemon. Kinda assumed it'd be a bottle cap. <laughs> hey, time to tell that girl you like. Here you go. All five bottle caps. You're amazing, mushroom. While you were doing what I were while you were doing that, I wrote a little note. And I was wondering, did you deliver it with the bottle caps to Donna? Sure thing, and I won't even have a peek. I hadn't even considered that. Here, how about the bottle caps in the envelope and seal it? Safe and sound. <laughs> sure, I'll get on it. Donna is the lovely snail just through the log there. Um, I don't want to be judgy, but are you a weasel? Like a ferret? I don't know if, I don't know if the snail is your true love. Hey, Donna. Leaving, but wanted to say bye. Oh, okay. Have a nice day. I'm glad your delivery worked out. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Wait, no. Here, letter. If you ever find any cool stuff, let me know. I'm kind of a collector of trinkets. That's cool. Is it? Yep. Thanks. Wait. No. What if we, like, walk away for a second? Yeah. Let it save, and then we're like, oh, okay. Totally just came from over there. No! I'm gonna... I'm gonna save it and go back to the main menu and I come back. Okay. No! Okay, so unfortunately restarting the demo did not help. So I'm gonna have to leave you guys hanging on, like, what was written in her love letter. But you know what? That's okay because it gives us an exciting reason to come back here. You know, not in the demo, but when the full game releases this April. I hope you guys enjoyed this 
lovely little scenery of the first, I guess, probably first village area, considering we're going somewhere else next. But in the meantime, let me go. Let me try to get that super secret bottle cap that I just read about. And uh, yeah, until the official game comes out, I will see you next time on this one. But it's been Ismay. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I'll see you all later for more.